Hi guys, welcome to Let's Talk Business. We put new videos up here every week, so don't forget to subscribe. I caught up with arguably one of the UK's best bloggers, Sarah Arrow. Her website, birdsontheblog.co.uk, is still the only British site to have been awarded three times the Forbes Top 100 Websites for Women. Speaking to Sarah at a recent marketing event, I first asked her to explain what Birds on the Blog was all about. I don't know if you remember three years ago there was a film called Ashes to Ashes on BBC. There was a guy who kept on calling women birds and um, that word was coming back into association with women and we decided we were going to take the word bird back and it would mean whatever we wanted it to mean but it wouldn't be a derogatory term used to describe women. So we called ourselves Birds on the Blog. We write about what it really is to be a woman in business. We talk about business issues as they affect us what it's like to work with children, what it's like to work in very male-dominated workplaces, what it's like to be a solo entrepreneur, what it's like to work in an industry that's really, really tough. So there's 30 of us who blog on a regular basis. We cover all different aspects of what it is to be a woman in business. So you've just talked to a very attentive audience about the blogging and in context of social media. Is that still a, a thing that really is at the fore? Because blogging's been around for ages, isn't it? Isn't it all about LinkedIn and Facebook these days? Um, blogging is your home base. It's everything comes back to your blog. You can be on LinkedIn and you can send them back to your website, but if you haven't got data capture, if you haven't got personal information available, if you haven't got a constant stream of content to demonstrate your expertise, then that's a lead that you've lost. If you're on Twitter and you're tweeting a hundred times a day and people get curious, they're going to want to know who you are. And if you haven't got a blog, they can't see who you are. I see blogging as central to all other social media activities. So if you're short of content to write on Facebook, then you share a blog post. If you're short of something to tweet, you share a blog post. By tying it all in and having your blog as your home base, you make all your social media work better. So what sort of things should people blog in general then? Well, that would depend on their goals. For us, it's about raising our profile on birds on the blog. So we talk about the things that affect us as women in business. Um, I wrote one about being a football widow and how I hated the Euro matches because I couldn't get to watch anything on TV that was decent and I was in effect a football widow. Um, I got rung up by BBC Live 5, um, I couldn't even tell Five Live, yeah. Five Live, and they said did I want to come on the radio and I said no and apparently that was a big <laughs> thing. I should have said yes because everyone wants to get on that. And I rang up a fellow bird on the blog and I said, do you like football? And she said, no, not really. I said, could you argue with somebody about football? And she went, oh, just give me the opportunity. I said, do you want to be on the radio? And she said, put me in a cab, I'm going. So she went on to the radio in my place and argued with a football fan that said it should be mandatory to watch football <laughs> and every day. And she argued with him on the radio and she got a bit in about herself and why she felt that people were obsessed unnecessarily by football. And that was all through a blog post. So it really does help businesses, depending on, on I suppose, mm -hmm. what business is it that, that, that you're in. So, okay, it takes up a lot of time to blog, doesn't it? How often do you need to blog and how long do they need to be? What's the secrets? You have to show up. That's the secret. Um, if you blog post once a week, you have to show up every week once a week. I would say blog three times a week. And you'll find there are other people that say, blog whenever you've got something to say. If you're an expert in your field, you always have something to say. Mm. And the only time you don't have something to say is when you're not an expert, when you don't know your topic deep enough. In which case, go out and study and learn so that you understand your topic deep enough. So you help people now uh, with their blogs, is that right? That's right. I now work in the capacity as a blog consultant. Um, I'm a very harsh blog consultant <laughs> That's <all I> hear. <laughs> because I want people to get results and one of the things that I will do is make people write and people say oh but I don't want to write and I think why blog because blogging is writing and they say oh I just want to make videos and I just want to do something else and I just want people to magically like me and buy my product and they won't do that without a blog because they don't know you okay and where can we find you you can find me at sark that's s-a-r-k e media.com or you can just Google Sarah Arrow and you'll find me and the 10 trillion sites that I regularly <laughs> contribute to. And uh, I share a lot of stuff at bestbloggingtipsonline.com where I'm a contributor to Danny Brand, the number one world's marketer. 
and he's got a site dedicated to blogging tips so you can find me in lots of places that's sarah arrow you can visit her website at birdsontheblog.co.uk or head over to our website let's talk business online.com for more details i hope you enjoyed that we upload new videos every week so don't forget to subscribe Thank you.